There's only two cookies in there for us to try the apple pie and the coconut one. That's for our content. So we're not going to try them? Well, is there like two and two? Or no, is there. There's two of each flavor. Yeah. yeah. Two of each flavor. Yeah. So I can use one for content. Well, one for picture, one for content, and then one for eating. No, there's two. You just named one three for today. content for Austin and I. Yeah. And yeah, one yeah. to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up? We're discussing if we actually have cookies to try for you guys because there's only two of each flavor. Brahmi fam. So Brad's aunt made um, shepherd's pie for us to eat. Can you well, not hear me? No, I'm going to move this so people can see her. Oh. They don't want to see me? Come over here. We have it now where the chat's on the side, too. There we go. Oh, Mama Jean doesn't land until like 9 o'clock tonight. Yeah. We probably won't see her till tomorrow morning, honestly. Because, um... We're wrong with you. I'm probably just going to go pick them up, honestly. And take them to the hotel. Yeah, we can talk about it. I mean, we were just going to have like an Uber pick them up and then take them to their hotel because basically they felt like it was too long or sorry too yeah too late to come see us by the time that they got off their flight and showered because of all the airport germs and anyway no my aunt doesn't make the cookies at all anymore Mm, this is really good though. She hasn't for about two years now, starting in March. March of uh, 2019 is when we hired our first full time employees, and my aunt um, stopped making cookies. So. Yep. Um, Mama Jean's in Montana. Yeah. My how are how are you feeling with breastfeeding? Oh, I feel pretty good. I mean, it's going really well. Which, <laughs> I know a lot of people like don't have that same story, so that's why I don't really talk about it a lot, because, I don't know, I, I just, it's been going really well, so I have no complaints. It's just, she eats like every hour sometimes, um, so that's the only hard part, but thankfully I'm like pretty flexible with my schedule, so. Mmm. We're eating shepherd's pie, though, and it's so good. Somebody just watched the labor and delivery vlog. Yeah, Mom and Gina will be here tonight. I know. I wish she was here already. What's the hardest adjustment? Um, um, well, I mean, just to talk, like, openly and candidly about things, guess what we do on Twitch, I feel like, it's just, like, I feel bad whenever I'm not home for the day. So I feel guilty like when I'm not home. So like when I'm running errands or I'm at work, you know, for fat and weird or whatever it is, I feel guilty because I feel like it ties Aubrey down and she's not able to do something if she needs to like tend to Scarlet crying or, you know, we also have Miley who's pretty needy dog, um, especially now that Scarlet's around, you know, so... Um, I think that's a hard adjustment is like still trying to get work done because we own our own businesses and there is no th such thing as maternity and paternity leave whenever you own your own businesses. So that's a hard adjustment for me. Um, the sleep thing hasn't really been an issue. I was in the Navy for almost six years. Like, do you think that was worse for sleep? Oh, hundred percent. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I think that was... Last night was the one of the worst nights of sleep that I've gotten since we um, had her and uh, or since she was born. And Which is super surprising because it was one of my best. Yeah. So I don't know if Brad just like slept lighter last night or... I mean, there was... He said there was a chunk of time where she was like crying a lot, but I don't remember what happened at that point. Like... Maybe yeah, two thirty in the morning, she was just like going ballistic, and I was like, "Are you going to get her? Because I'm about to get up out of bed <laughs> and feed her from my nipple." Wow, yeah. maybe I just didn't wake up right away. Yeah, because it was long. Maybe that's so crazy, you guys. It was a blur, total blur. 
Um, but as far as like me and the biz biggest adjustment, uh, I would say just like wanting to like balance my time equally, like still hanging out with Brad and yeah, that I think it's Brad. I think it's like our relationship is probably. Yeah, we're just trying to make sure that we like I always want Aubrey to feel supported and to feel like I'm there for her. So I, that's why. So like I guess my biggest thing is I don't want to let Aubrey down. So that's the hardest part, uh, truthfully. Uh, and thank you, GC GMZ, for subscribing. Did I miss another subscriber? Can you scroll down on the activity feed? It's on the active feed. Um, keep going. There was one before. Yeah, and then, yeah, we before we started, Whitney um, R 1986 subscribed too. So thank you for subscribing. We appreciate your support. It helps us do lots of giveaways. How do I feel now that Letty's here? I mean, I love looking at her, but I just like can't wait. Well, I don't, I'm not going to say can't wait because my dad said quit saying can't wait because you're going to can't wait your life away. But um, <laughs> I'm looking, looking forward to like more interaction. Like I know she sees us because like she literally follows us with her eyes. Her eyes are open. So I can tell that she's like looking at us, but I'm looking forward to just like more interaction. TK, you know, is just over two now and she's like full sentences and stuff like that. And it's really cute. I don't think that. I'm ready for that step yet because I look at TK and she had her hair know, back. When like she had her so hair big. back like that, I was like, oh my God, she looks like a grown kid. I know. Um, but yeah. But. Um, what did somebody else ask? Oh, do I feel like she has different cries for different feelings? I don't know. It's not that. She has different cries. I don't know if they're for different feelings, but there's like, uh, I'm unhappy cry and I'm screaming cry. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, but you know, they talk about like the ne versus eh versus like, I don't even know the five, but I have not really noticed that, but I can usually tell like just because she's developed like a routine or pattern. So I can usually tell most of the time what she might need. If I pick her up and she's still crying, then I put a pacifier in her mouth and that doesn't soothe her. She's got a dirty diaper. That's what I figured out. Or gas slash upset stomach. Earlier, she was going crazy. And I told, Austin even came down. He's like, whoa, I haven't heard that before. And I told, uh, I told Austin, well, um, we got to go upstairs and see if she wants to eat. And she didn't eat. And we checked her diaper and she had peed in it. And while Aubrey was cleaning the pee diaper up, she like farted and <laughs> poop came out. <laughs> She sharded essentially, <laughs> but oh, don't, yeah, don't oh, baby, baby's first shard. <laughs> <laughs> don't make fun of her. <laughs> uh, Aubrey, do you pump and breastfeed or just breastfeed? Just breastfeed for now, right? Right. I was actually looking at today, like what's the proper amount of time to wait to pump? Because obviously, like I would love to start pumping so I can at least have like one bottle for my mom to use or Brad to use and um, that kind of thing. But they say kind of like wait about six weeks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that seems like so long. So, yeah. I don't know. Fitness question. Do y'all consider a cardio day? Oh, I just missed it. Just missed it. Do y'all consider a cardio day a day, a day of, of workout? workout. Is it just that? Or does it have to be weightlifting to be a workout day? Oh. Um, I would I would consider that like an active recovery day. Like if you go hiking or you do like some cardio stuff, I consider that like an active recovery day because you're not working out. You're not working a muscle per se. So thank you so much for subscribing, Christine. Um, did we miss anything else? No. Do you guys still use the tempo? Yes. Austin uses it probably the most, truthfully, though. I don't know. Austin, how are you adjusting to having a baby in the house? Austin doesn't hear it at night. We've already asked him repeatedly because we would feel really bad about them like waking up. But Austin said he hasn't heard her at all at night. Um, uh oh, don't do it. Don't cry. Yeah. Yes. There it goes. No. Uh. Uh. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Aubrey, Austin says he doesn't really notice the difference. I think Off it's topic. probably just an adjustment in general because like. Um. Yeah, I would say yeah. Work is an adjustment for sure. Um, I don't 
know how Gabby's adjusting. Off topic, but Aubrey, when you were working out, you helped me bite the bullet and put my son in speech therapy, and he has exceeded so much. Thank you for sharing everything. He's a whole new kid. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Um, yeah, everyone just wants to know how you're doing. How are you doing? Good? Are you tired? Um, yeah. So when I sit down to breastfeed, I get, like, exhausted. So I don't know if that's the act of breastfeeding or you just realize how tired you are because you sat down, finally. Um, but I feel really great most of the time. I would say, like, there's probably a good hour at, like, dusk. Probably when she's fussy, too. So she probably feels it, too. Where you just kind of get, like meh about your day um but then by nighttime like i'm great and i don't know it's just kind of take hour by hour um <clears throat> you're so <clears throat> tired you just need to sleep <clears throat> You just need a snooze. Eugenia said <clears throat> that she built a stash. Oh I, just, oh gosh, I swallowed you... food. It went down the wrong pipe. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <clears throat> yeah, I'm dying over after, here. It's okay. Burp, burp me too. <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't think you should build a stash. I don't think you should start early. <clears throat> if you start too early, then your milk production is just way too high for your baby, and then you have to pump. And that's and then you have to breastfeed or, and pump. So. Or you risk like mastitis, I or I don't know. I've Austin snores. Oh, your mom said Austin snores too loud to hear, Letty. <clears throat> that's what he said. <laughs> Are you going to document your fitness journey like you did the bump date? <clears throat> uh, my fitness journey. Yeah, I mean, I'll prop. We've done like postpartum updates. Uh, so we're doing our first one, um, this week on YouTube. It'll go live on Saturday. Yes. And then, so in there, I'll talk about like workouts and how all that's going. So I don't know if I'll exclusively do videos for just workouts, but that's where I'll include it. <clears throat> What's worse, contractions or your hardest workout? Um, contractions. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it painful breastfeeding? I know the answer to that. Like Aubrey said that Letty has a good latch, <clears throat> so it hasn't been painful breastfeeding. But I'm sure like as she gets older... Then it's going to be more difficult. Um, Aubrey's mom will be here tonight. Any exploding diapers yet? Um, no, we've definitely... We like no, we haven't had a blow up, but you did have some on her back one time. Yeah. Like her lower back. Gotten on her it hasn't gotten like on her clothes yet. So, <clears throat> um, Does Letty like the bassinet? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, we've kind of figured out what she likes, which is her swaddle that's like really high like or it brings her arms up versus like putting mm -hmm. them in yeah she likes her arms like wrapped this way yeah up by her face she doesn't like them like wrapped down by her body um what time of day is letty the most active uh it really she doesn't have a routine yet um i would say right now though i feel like the morning she's pretty active like when i when i usually take her down at like five or six she is pretty active but um I agree. You don't need to. Plus, you stress yourself out trying to pump and breastfeed. Yeah. Um, what's the next question? Um, how are we doing? How sour is Pucker Up? It's pretty. Sour. It's really sour, Sam. It's, sour. it's really sour. Yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting. Like, I bet you my niece TK would love it because she likes sour stuff like that. But I don't know. Lick the oh, that's this is a good one from Victoria. Have you has your diet changed post stardom and do you have any cravings? I would care more about the craving thing. Our diet has changed because we're just eating what people make us. So, um, I don't have any cravings. I literally just try to jam pack food in when I can because you basically the best way I can describe it is like when you have a break, like they're you know they're good and settled and sleeping or just laying or whatever. You have choices that you can make, right? So you can choose to make food. You can choose to go take care of yourself and like shower and go to the bathroom. Um, you can choose to do some work. So there's just like, you only have one option. Um, you can't always do all of them. Um, so that's just, yeah, it's, I didn't think about that, but it's really the reality. And that's why when you choose food, you're usually grabbing it, jam packing it, and then maybe trying to like do something else at the same time. Um, Thank you, Alex Mullins, for cheering with bits. Um, what's 
<laughs> what non-approved pregnancy food were you most excited to eat again? Oh. Would you I haven't done it yet, but sushi, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I haven't even done anything like that. Um, oh, turkey meat. I guess I have had like lunch meat sandwiches. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I don't want to drink yet because like I can't, I don't know. I just, I don't know how that all works. Because um, obviously I'm not pumping yet. So I can't just like pump and dump and I don't, I haven't done a lot of research. So... What's yeah. the status of your home? Monday they start our kitchen cabinets, and we. I just talked to our contractor again today, and he said, "100 percent, we will be moved in by April 26th." Really? Yeah. That's so soon. Yeah. That's I know. I'm so excited. Has your appetite increased? I don't think so. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But I just can't. Like, I don't know how much I'm gonna eat. I have no clue. But I know that. Um. Like, I, I was super curious to see like what happens with your weight. Um, so I have been trying to like weigh every morning just to see, and it'll like drop like three pounds in a day, which is just insane. Um, which I don't really know what that is. I think it is definitely fluid because I was holding a lot from just obviously all of last week. Your boobs look like they gained three pounds. Yeah, my boobs are huge. Um, but I, I think the demand for food when you're breastfeeding is very high. So it's just interesting. I'm so sorry, Alex, about that, but I'm glad that you ate a lot of cookies. Um, how's your flooring? Oh, I mean, they definitely are going to have to replace the floor when it got wet, but other than that, everything's pretty good. Ooh. Is this not working for you? Is it not working for you? I want to come see the warehouse. We have a house in Florida. Well, May 8th, we'll have our grand opening, so... When Letty came into the world, what did you guys both both first think? Um, well, I told you that like she was stunned when she was born, so that was kind of like a traumatic thing, I guess. But like in general, I was just like when I saw her coming out, I was like, "Damn, that's a big baby." Yeah. <laughs> that was my first reaction. Was holy crap! <laughs> really? But then after it like all sunk in, it was just like, "Wow, she's gorgeous," and I'm um, just you know excited. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. She's she, she'd be difficult on Twitch today. Yeah. Um, babe, you can buy strips that show up alcohol still in your breast milk. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'll definitely look at that, Jade. Um, did you do a newborn photo shoot? That's on Friday, actually. Are you both native to Florida? I'm from Panama City, Florida, but um, Aubrey is from Montana, and we met in Seattle when I was stationed there for the military. So excited for the new house. Will you do a tour? Yes. We're actually going to do like multiple videos for the house. We're probably going to do like individual room breakdowns and just like talk about like the, because we had a designer, you know, we want to do this video with her and just talk about like the overall design of the house. So we'll do one video, like an overview of the whole house. And then we're going to do separate videos, like breaking down the office, breaking down the um, kitchen, breaking down the bedroom, stuff like that. So what was the scare like? It's just, um, you can look up like when what happens when babies are stunned. I don't really want to get into it. Um, Aubrey's mom's not here yet. Mm -mm. How do you guys feel about unsolicited advice? I know people always give advice to new parents. Has anything annoyed you? Um, Maddie, to be honest, we're pretty new to that, or not new to that whole situation because we're on social media. People give unsolicited advice on everything. Like I could post a picture of toast and people would be like, Oh, you should have toasted that longer. Oh, you toasted that too long. Oh, you should spread the butter all the way to the corners. So like, I mean, we're used to it. Literally anything we do gets unsolicited advice or feedback. Um, so nothing really annoys us. At the end of the day, people can give advice all day. It's up to you whether you want to take it. So where in Seattle did you meet? Do you mind sharing your story? Um, I mean, we met on Tinder. Um, I lived in uh, somewhere called Silverdale, which is on the other side of the Puget Sound from Seattle, and Aubrey lived in Kirkland. Um, we talked on uh, on Tinder for a little while, then we you know, started texting and FaceTiming each other, and I went over there and visited her while she was working at a CrossFit gym. Um, and then after that, we, uh, we went to um, lunch. What was the place called for lunch? Yeah, I forgot yeah. the name of the place. Yeah, we got lunch together, and then we just kind of hung out the whole day, and then we were pretty much un inseparable after that. 
Do you guys have videos of your love story? No, it was before this stuff. Do you think it's crazy how quickly pregnancy flew by? Yes. Um, yeah, I feel like people say it lasts forever, but like I feel like it just flew by. I can't believe it's over. My sister's baby was nine pounds, 15 ounces, but they had a C-section and she didn't even realize they had started. And then they were talking about how big the baby was. Oh my gosh. Did floral make it into your nursery? Oh yeah. Did you do okay, wallpaper? Okay, so I just made a decision today Yeah. that instead of the floral, oh, okay. I was doing, it's kind of like geometric, big paintbrush strokes. So it's, kind, it's not really abstract. It's just pink, um, like a, kind of like a blush pink. Um, but the floral had more like peach tones in it and that was just really hard and I got that beautiful sign that has Scarlett's name on it and that's like white and pink roses so I just wanted to go with more of like pink. Um, so obviously that's a very frivolous thing like you don't need wallpaper but um, yeah I was really excited about it and finally made a decision so I think we're going to go with that on just like one wall. So great contraction pain out of 10. I mean, I didn't make it, like, I got an epidural at about a level 7 pain for me. Um, but I could not talk at some points. Like, if Brad would ask me a question, like, I'd be like, hold on a second. But they really didn't last as long as I thought. Like, they didn't last, like, a full minute. I felt like they only lasted, like, 20, 25 seconds. So. Um, Alex, I, Aubrey's sorry. probably not going to see your DM. Because it's like, uh, no, he had your mic muted. And oh, he just turned oh it back on sorry. And came back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you for subscribing, Whitney Lexi, for two months ahead of time. How do you guys pick and choose your home designer? Um, I think I posted about like just wanting to explore the interior designer route because um, we needed so much help and I couldn't do it by myself. And um, <laughs> so we had a couple of people just email, and Kelly was one that emailed um there was another girl that emailed and it was she did more of like commercial spaces which was great but i i am so glad that we decided on kelly because oh my gosh like we could not have done it yeah whenever she told me she wanted to hire an interior designer i was like why like we don't need this da, 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 which will definitely be in a youtube video because which i agree like it seems again frivolous to be hiring an interior designer i get it if you had a spec home and they're building a spec home, then you don't need an interior designer. You yeah, just you pick just out the pick stuff out and tile, you just pick out cabinet color. But and they kind of give you the choices. But when you're building a home from like the scratch, like you have to pick out everything. Like the toilets, the sinks, like not to mention the vanities. Like, not to mention our floor plan had to be she readjusted it. Yeah, she adjusted our floor plan and like our lighting in plan and she stuff made like, that, like so. all the lighting maps, like all that stuff like um that a architect would, do that, would probably yeah. do that, yeah. He our guy didn't do it, and so she did it for us, and I wouldn't have been able to do that. I don't know. It was just very needed. Um, what kind of bathtub are you using for Letty? A bath? Yeah, what kind of bathtub? Um, we're just doing it in the sink right now. Yeah, we're just doing sink baths, so she just has like a sponge. We actually haven't given her a first bath, like officially, um, so we're waiting for Mama Jean. Okay. But. What do we need to come to the May 8th grand opening? Um We'll post more about it, but you just show up. It's going to be like from 2 to 6 probably, um, but it's there'll be a food truck there, at least one, if not a couple. We're going to be doing free cookies. Um, we, we don't know. Do you guys have any like great ideas? Yeah, you have any we're, ideas for grand opening? Because we're wide open for it. We, yeah. you know, we, we want to have like food trucks there. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, people will come for that. Everyone asks where Letty went. She's just laying in her bassinet, right? Well, so. she's laying in her snuggle me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She just needed, like, white noise. And I think it was too loud and stimulating in here. She likes to, like, look around. and. How's parenthood going? I think it's a little tiring. But, I mean, it's just it's just something new. It's just, you have to figure out a new routine. I think anything that throws you off of your routine is difficult. But it's, And you know, what's so. unfortunate, I think, about a newborn is, like, they're not always routine. So, yeah. we have... We have some things that are the same every day, but not every day is going to be the same. So you're just unpredictable. Cookie133 said, did you reach out to your interior designer? Did she reach out to you? Um, we, Aubrey just kind of put a feeler out and she reached out to us. Um, thank you for subscribing, Jerry. We did like a phone consult, which it did cost money. Um, I think it was like a couple hundred bucks just to go over. We literally talked for like three hours um, and we talked about everything. Um, so then you get to make a decision on what you want to work on. 
um, your budget and negotiating all that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, someone said, do you, does your aunt miss baking for fat weird? I think she misses some of it, but it's a lot of work and, uh, um, she, I don't think she misses that part of it. Um, then someone else asked if I'd use my VA home loan. I have not used that. Um, could you also live feed the grand opening? Um, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work. Not, not like that you guys don't deserve us to like work hard on certain things like that, but logistically there's a lot going on. So I don't know about having a live feed of the grand opening. Yeah. So, d we did not meet while Aubrey was in school. We met on Tinder, like we were both working in out of sight of Seattle. A tie dye stand? That's funny. Um, if I pick up Mama Jean, we'll film it. If we send an Uber to go pick her up, then obviously we won't. So, yeah. Um, There's a little elephant shower head at Target. That's yeah, I, it's called a Yuki Do, and um, I just got it. Um, my sister actually recommended it because she loved it, and then I recommended it to Ariel, which is Brad's sister. She loved it, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have that on my registry. I don't have it yet. So. Oh, I forgot. I am actually want to try to break a world record at the grand opening. What? The most amount of people dunking a cookie in milk at oh. the same time. It's only like a, th like a thousand people or something like that. I feel like we can do that. I'll look it up, but I, wouldn't that be dope? That's a lot of people, though. A yeah. thousand people is a lot. Well, I'll look up what it is, and, and if we can beat it, then I'm going to be like, Guinness. Get here, bro. Don't they have to be there? For yeah, it? so tell them to get there. Okay. Bro, wouldn't that be dope? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll work on it, guys. We're going to work on that. Um, a photo booth, Kona ice truck, Mama Jean headband stand, photo booth. Is it um, super expensive to get an interior designer? Expensive is a relative term. Um, it, what's expensive to some people may not be expensive to others. I think in the grand scheme of your budget for your house. It depends. I'll say it depends because you can literally make up all of the money that you spent on an interior designer um, based on the savings that they can give you on the things they can get. Furniture, yeah. um, you know, different flooring, stuff like that. You could literally make all that money back up. Um, so I don't know. Expe I mean, yeah, you're you're talking tens of thousands of dollars. What was I mean? You can tell what Kelly was, but here's the deal for us. So I mean, uh, I mean, I, I would say that really you be know. be prepared probably to probably spend. Yeah, be prepared to pay between twenty and thirty thousand for an interior designer. However, I mean, sometimes they can save you like two dollars a square foot on your flooring. And if you're installing a flooring that in your house is three thousand square foot, like they're six grand. They saved you right there. Um, if they save you, you know. Even like 10% here and 20% there, that stuff really adds up. And I mean, I think Kelly's probably saved us like $15,000 yeah. on stuff. Yeah. Um, so anyways, are all at the storefront, will the cookies, will, will they be warm? Well, I mean, we're going to be baking them as fast as we can. So yeah, I, I mean, I would that, assume they're going to be warm. I but most of them, well, some of them are going to be baked ahead of time because that's just the smart thing to do. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. And all we can do is put six, we can only put 600 cookies in the oven at once. So, and we'll probably be just baking assorted pans of cookies. But I mean, I would, I would assume that they're going to be like warm. Um, at least, huh? OGs mostly? Yeah. Mostly. OGs? Yeah. It's probably going to be mostly flavors? OGs flavors. Yeah. And then, I mean, we may have random assortments of other cookies, but yeah. Okay, when y'all say photo booth, please describe that for me. Like, what are you envisioning when you say photo booth? Just to get your idea. Or just like a backdrop with props. Like a backdrop with props and someone taking photos? Or like a booth that you actually go in and it like prints out photos? Yeah. Will you close the store on a daily when you sell out? Um, we'll never sell out of our store. Unless you come in and buy like 30,000 cookies. So... In yeah, that case, I mean, yeah, you we might close, just have to but... like wait. You know, it's it's just like waiting. You know, ten minutes or whatever till yeah. you get your order. But make a special cookie for the grand opening, then have it for the anniversary. Okay, we do that. Yeah, I thought about that. I'm just like, what? I mean, a grand opening only cookie. You have to be in person to get it. That vanilla cookie we had the other night was really good. The vanilla one with Teddy Graham. Oh and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Backdrop with props. How many fat and weird employees do you guys have? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know because we have part-time employees, stuff like that. I think it's something like 14 full-time equivalents is what you would call it. Um, because, you know, we have some employees that only work 10 hours a week. We have some that work, you know, 40 hours a week. So, 
Do you have a nuclear flavor plan for the grand opening that will launch online that we get the storefront opening? Not that, no, I don't think we're doing anything. Set up an iPad and you can get an app that people can put in their emails and it goes to them and saves to your iPad to see all of them. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at a photo booth thing. Do you guys ever take cookie flavor suggestions? We do take cookie flavors. What? Jess, if you want the cookies. Yeah, you can bring the cookies. We do take cookie flavor suggestions, but I will say don't get offended if we don't use it because um, a lot of times people are like, ooh, make a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. And I'm like, I don't want to make it. If you want a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, go to Subway. Um, you know, I want to make cookies that people don't make. So have you told the newspaper or local news about your grand opening to get free coverage? If not, let me know. I have a friend who works at local news. I can connect you with her. Uh, Miss Warren Murphy, definitely connect us. But Ashley Ruth is actually working with us to help us plan the grand opening and she's going to be um ashley dryer sorry was your full name yeah but ashley, ashley dryer on instagram yeah. um she's going to be oh, doing that so make mini fat and weird cookies for the kids um we thought we thought about doing that but we're not gonna call them minis we're gonna call them juniors fat and weird juniors i thought we thought of something else no it's juniors oh okay that's the name we thought of juniors Oh. Like two two ounce cookies. Oh, will you so. guys remind us what coconut cream pie name you came up with the other day? Yeah, someone came up with a really good coconut cream pie. It was like something coconuts or what? Um, Loaded nuts. We were actually working on like a banana pudding cookies. Um, would you plan on making custom cookies for a wedding? Um, you would have to order literally a thousand cookies for me to make a completely custom flavor for you. Um and then if, if it was a good enough flavor, it may turn out on the menu. But for me to like make a custom flavor, um, it would have to be like a thousand because we have to create labels for those. We have to do like all that stuff. Yeah, we have the, to. We have yeah, to we have to. Well, machines. I mean, yeah, we got to mix it. We got to buy the ingredients. Like it definitely would have to be. Was uh, it cocoa oh, for nuts? No, I think it was shake your coconuts. Yeah, something about like, I don't remember what it was. We'll have to watch it again. There was a really funny coconut one though. Um, okay, let's try American Pie. Which okay. I already know I love it. So, um, so, so this we're doing week, we're doing two pie cookies this week and two next week. Um, but this week is apple pie, American pie, which is what we had. Um, or sorry, uh, we've had it before. It's coming out of the vault. Yeah, so there it is. Does it? Is that caramel? Yeah, there's caramel in there. That's Sticky Fingers that has caramel, though. Oh, really? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Well, then they put caramel in this, and they've already made it, so it has caramel in it. Oh. Mm, that's not good. What do you... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Someone said shredded nuts. I thought Jack Sprock would be like, hey, just so you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. American Pie doesn't have caramel. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think we made sticky fingers because we wanted to make like a caramel apple cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the most recent one that we did. Hey, is that caramel bits or is it cinnamon chips? Well, I saw like a... Well, it does have cinnamon chips. That's a, That's caramel. Isn't it? Sorry, I think it's guys. caramel. Yeah. Pretty sure it is. I mean, it's great either way. What is changing about the big, sexy core? Um, and, oh, first off, did you have Fat and Weird at your wedding? No, Fat and Weird didn't exist when we got married. Um, I've never tried the cookies before. What's the best flavor to try first? It depends on what you like, truly. I mean, if you don't like chocolate, I could recommend cookies, but I would recommend all the chocolate ones because that's what I like. What's changing about the big, sexy core? It is... It's like a Dolce de Leche. Yeah, the caramel core used to be like a like a, a block of caramel chew and now it is literally like a dolce de leche cream so i like the core a lot better i think all of their cores have gotten better um yeah and the party animal is getting a instead of a white chocolate chip core that it has now it just has these like these white chocolate wafers that melt it um it is getting a Animal cracker frosting core. So we're like grinding up animal crackers, mixing it and frosting, and that's the new core. And I like it a lot. So Sticky Fingers has peanuts on top. Yeah. So I know that is the difference, but then I just need to check our description of American Pie because maybe it does have caramel. Maybe I'm just like crazy. 
Um, I'm probably crazy. Would you ever do a lactation cookie? Um, I gave them the recipe for a lactation cookie the other day. Um, we talked about it because we have a pediatrician's office right beside us. So um, there's a possibility that we will do that. You guys should make a cookie using Lindor chocolates. Um, it's just when you buy like Lindor, like the cost is really expensive to buy Lindor chocolates and put them in a cookie. Mm -hmm. So truthfully. Actually, no, we have tried it. Yeah, we, we tried it. They literally turn to water consistency. Yeah. Um, when they get hot. Yeah, because the chocolate melts it's on the oil. outside and it just like, just like, yeah. You the, open it up and it's just oil spilling out. It's, it's not good. Um, we do it. Yeah. The cotton candy cookie is sugar mama. Like Austin said. Can you make a Harry Potter cookie like a butter beer esque? So butter. I thought system. about that. Yeah, we may do that. We may do that. Um, a lactation cookie is a cookie that has like flaxseed and brewer's yeast and stuff in it. It's supposed to help you with lactating. Mm. The crunchy outside of that American pie. Yeah, no, I love American pie. Oh, it's so good. Remember how disastrous it was though in the beginning? Yeah, we first started. It's making literally it. a shit show, for lack of a better term. Okay. And then tell them what this is in this. Coconut cream pie. It's seriously, it's so good, you guys. I guess if you like coconut, which I do. Did you guys ever bake them too? Um, I mean, I'm, I, we're in the kitchen helping sometimes. I'm not saying that I'm physically baking any cookies, but I mean, I was there for hours today at the kitchen. Um, I do a lot of other random stuff like in the warehouse so that people can focus on doing their job. Um, but yeah, I mean, we definitely do bake. We definitely, um, uh, well, I wouldn't say like, it does have caramel. Yeah, it has, I was, I thought I did. it has caramel bits. Yeah. So we definitely do help with that. Um, like I, the other day was helping Brooke get ingredients ready, but I'd say we're not nearly as involved as we used to be, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm more involved now that we're moved into the brand new building versus like the one that we were leasing. Because if you go to the leasing one, it was like 20. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I know. That coconut cream pie cookie is so good. I know a lot of people don't like coconut, but I would love that cookie. It almost tastes like a shortbread dough. Uh-huh. Um, but the other kitchen was like 20 minutes away, so and it wasn't like on the way to anything. So it was like out of the way, and then it was tiny, so you always felt like you were in the way if you were there. Um, so we, yeah, we operated from afar when they were in there, and then I feel like we're more involved now. But Um how often do you eat your own cookies? How often is sampling for sale? Like, well, I ate an entire pitch and tins yesterday. I don't know if I told you that. Um, Which, like, when? when? You had a whole yesterday, I, I ate a whole. That. Um, that today I ate a whole party animal. No, I, I ate like a, I ate like a half of a party yeah, animal. We shared, we shared it. Yeah. So I mean, I I'd say like every time I'm in the kitchen, I'm trying something. I remember when. We used to pack like um oh pack orders and um, no no it's the day we baked in the kitchen so when we do one single baking day and we'd be so hungry I would eat like four cookies in a day we'd be so hungry I remember w one time we got like freezer pizzas and put them in the oven yeah because it was like two in the morning or something yeah um those were the days we scroll up real quick I missed a, one question it's just above that um oh how often will you be bringing flavors out of the vault versus releasing new cookies I think that you guys think that we plan a lot further out than we do <laughs> um we plan like four to six weeks out yeah and then we don't it it's not, we don't have any set thing we just wing it we're still just winging it you know what are the cookie flavors we're eating again apple pie and coconut cream pie so it'll be um american pie and then we haven't named the coconut cream pie one yet so um which one do you like better someone goes what what cookies are better cold everyone Shorty's likes shorty's cake. cakes cold i feel like you know or like um, anything like a like a cookie. Uh, sorry, a sugar cookie, like big booty dough and party animal. I just like it better not warmed up. Um, I don't know. I warmed up party animal today and it was fire. <laughs> Way better warmed up. Um, Brad, you mentioned the other day in your story possibly putting nutrition on the site. Any further thought on that? Yes, we're probably going to do it soon. However, it will only be for the OGs, and it's going to be on a separate page that you have to like click and want to go there and want to see it. So if you don't want to see it, you won't have to see it. Um, Swarin27, thank you so much for subscribing. We have a PB&J cookie. Um, but I have 
I've been hesitant to play around with banana anything just because it's kind of a turn off for most people. Um, I don't know. We could try it though. We did a PB and J cookie. It just gets really difficult because when you mix peanut butter and jelly, you are creating a recipe for mold. So it's a very difficult cookie to do. Um, you know, you have to use preservatives, stuff like that for that to, to work. So anyways, I think that's why we went the route of, um, the the outside the dough is like a strawberry jam base and then the in Side the core is like yeah. peanut butter yes yeah, a strawberry cookie with peanut butter chips and a peanut butter core or something like that would be really good um claire would you ever do you want to celebrate the pandemic is deemed over globally um i don't know the pandemic is a very um polarizing, polarizing topic for people you know a lot of people it's not as a sore subject so some people lost their businesses some people lost a lot during the pandemic family members so uh, probably not. How Will you ever bring back the razzle dazzle? Yes, for sure. How long does the process take from start to finish? Oh gosh. I mean, a I whole, don't know. Like, like, from, a like a badge of five fifty. Wait, from like, uh, well, mixing the dough to rolling the cookie yeah. to baking it. So one single cookie, I would say, it, it just following one cookie, I would say it probably takes two and a half hours between mixing the dough. Forming it, like stuffing, stuffing it, it, you know, baking it, cooling it, bagging, sealing, labeled, and I would say put the, it in a box. the cooling part is probably the longest chunk of time. Yeah, where it's sitting there waiting to be bagged because you can't bag them too early. How long do they last in the freezer, and how long do they last in the fridge? I ate a cookie out of our freezer that was a year old, and it was fine. Um, we tell people six months in the fridge. Um, it would just be like any other cookie dough, so probably like three, three to four weeks. So. I hope you're doing amazing because you're absolutely amazing. Well, thank you so much. What happened to Nutella Bollock? I mean, it's just like every other cookie that we do that's exclusive. The vault. It just comes out for a little while and goes back in. I want to actually get like a vault and put it in the storefront and and like label it the cookie vault. Um, will you make take another vegan it. cookie aside from the imposter? Um, we've worked on some other vegan flavors. The hard part with vegan cookies is they sometimes can taste real gummy because they're missing butter and eggs um but yeah i mean there's a possibility um that we would do that it just they really really need to be um like a good flavor for us to do how long do they take to bake well that just depends on the cookie claire and we would never tell you that just kidding i mean i could tell you a time but <laughs> it doesn't matter no one has the ovens we have the ovens we have will if you tried to bake if you took our cookies and baked them at home, it may take you like 12 to 14 minutes to bake them. But the ovens we have, they're convection ovens with like industrial fans on them. So they circulate really hot air really fast. So they bake things way faster. In fact, I learned that when we bought like a frozen dinner pizza and baked it in there one day. Literally in six minutes, that thing was done. And you would need like 10 minutes to bake it at home. So, Or more, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever... Somebody there have been to, hits about edible cookie dough. Still a thought. Yeah, I'm working with a lab right now to make sure that everything is like safe to ship. Um, and I should know more soon. Um, somebody asked if we were going to do a road trip with Letty. Oh, who knows? Okay, my hope, can I tell you my hope? Yeah. Is that every spring we drive to Montana, like road trip style. Okay. And then come back All right, that's around interesting. September. Do y'all track the cookies or what do you recommend tracking them as? Um, I don't track the cookies. Um, I don't track them either. Uh, we tell people to weigh them. I don't track so them like if, if you got the bread, it's an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. Literally weigh it. If it's a five ounce cookie, just Google five ounce oatmeal chocolate chip nutrition and stuff pops up. If it's a party animal, type in like five ounce you know, sugar cookie or five ounce. Any, I mean, honestly, all the cookies macros are pretty much the same. I mean, they're really similar. So, um, can you still order gender reveal cookies? Yeah, you just need to um, email us. Um, we, we make gender reveal cookies. Paleo cookies? No. Not, I'm not interested in anything paleo. <laughs> cookie dough, yeah. Vegan cookie dough possibility? Yep. We'll offer the gluten sensitive and vegan cookie dough and then our OG's uh, cookie dough. So. Yeah, Mama Jean's not here. Mama Jean would come on Twitch on Monday, I guess. So. Yeah. All right, let's do a giveaway. 
do some giveaways. I don't we know which one I like this more. Because I want my mom to try it. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. I like them both a lot. Um, what word are we gonna do? Uh, we need a word. We need a word. Coconut. So Sam said shard. Shard. <laughs> no, coconut will be a word. Cocoa nut. Bust a nut. Bust a oh my nut. gosh. Yeah. What do we have? You have a five time chance to win if you're a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm really I'm really pumped that you guys we have 140 subscribers. You guys are awesome. That is awesome. Good job, guys. You can bring Letty back in here for in here. No, I'm not touching that girl. She's asleep. Yeah. Coconut. I always find it so fascinating that whenever you see a word repeated over and over, how it looks so weird. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking. Oh, when I was searching for all of the March people, you know, like. Yeah. I was looking at March. I started, I was like, wait, is that how you spell March? I was like, why? There has to be a word for that phenomenon. If they're not, let's, let's call it the, the Bromlo effect. Chester on Phil, Fieldville, thank you so much for subscribing. She's sleeping like this, ready? She's like got one hand in her mouth. I don't know if she's sucking on her hand or. We were just talking about, babe, when I was looking at the word March repeatedly, it looks so weird to me. It's the thing. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel like it happens with everything. It has to be a... That's definitely not how you say that. No, it's like that's not J-A-M. it. That's not it, though. It's like deja vu. Wordanesia. No, but there it is. Why, keep going down. Why even the simplest... Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, right there. Why even the simplest word look... Yeah, Wordnesia. Oh, Wordnesia. It's called Wordnesia, apparently, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you, Megan. Lol will one for subscribing as well. Sunrise Gang. Sunrise Gang, you won the giveaway? Wow. And go ahead and message them, and then we'll roll it again. Oh, Victoria. Sunrise Gang. Victoria Late Fitness. Thank you. Did you message them or no? Name, address, and email address. And then let's roll it again. Next winner is Daisha. Daisha 21. Daisha 21. Uh, D E I A. Yeah. You also won the giveaway, and we'll do one more, guys. So fingers crossed if you haven't won. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Final one E hole 22. E-hole 22. Like a popcorn hole. Huh? I don't think I went outside today, you guys. Actually, no. I Someone said it's called out. it's called semantic satiation or something. Like that. Oh yeah, your <laughs> your fingers weren't crossed right now. All right, guys, that'll be it for the giveaways and everything. Um, we will be back on Monday with um, Mama Jean. Mm-hmm. What's she gonna make us for dessert? Or only dessert or dinner? I don't care about dinner. I just care about dessert. What? All right, guys. I thank you know. so much for joining us. I'm glad that we got a great Twitch gang now. You guys are awesome. Letty says bye. I know. I'm sorry we it. couldn't finish with her. Okay. Salute. <laughs>